Hello everyone, I'm uh, Julien Lévy. I'm the XR product manager at Lenovo. And we are here at BET24 uh, showcasing our Think Reality XR solutions for education. And I'm here with uh, Hevelus, our partners, who develop a solution for education uh, and teachers and students to collaborate together in, uh, in virtual reality. And we are showcasing the BRX headset today, which is the new uh, XR device from Lenovo and uh, it's available for demo at our booth today and uh, uh, I'm going to let uh, Hevelus present their solution that works into the headset. Of course, thanks Julian. And I'm Giorgio from Hevelus and with here uh, with me I have... I am uh, Gianmarco. And today we are showcasing two different solutions uh, here at Matt and yeah, both for, of course, education. And one of them is the open day experience, what we like to call the open day experience, which is a huge opportunity for schools and university and higher education and lower education to showcase all of the services and everything that is um, can be mm, included in all of the courses of the university. So basically we are talking about some kind of metaverse or a virtual environment that can be visited both by VRX or via web, navigating via web, where students can navigate all of the universities and all of the schools uh, locations and courses and get to know more about that and they can also book a session with uh, yes. an expert or a teacher. The idea is to, to give the possibility also with the uh, computer but mainly with uh, headset like Lenovo WRX to access uh, not just one but more than one people inside the same scenario in which they can just collaborate and so they can book appointment with uh, a responsible school uh, teacher and they can just have uh, answer question and so on we had several experiences with uh, this kind of uh, solution with many universities in both in italy and around the world and we found that uh, schools and universities found a huge return in engagement both engagement of the students and also um, in enrolling students and uh, even engagement on the universities or school website, which is something that uh, often is uh, is really sought after. But also they became more attractive during the in-person experience, because during the in-person experience they are able to put a, a totem in which there will be the Lenovo Warex, uh, more than one, and all the visitors in person can just try the metaverse experience in an immersive way through voir that that could be a strategic movement for school to become more attractive technology attractive uh, it increases the the technologic standing of the school or the university and this i think is a is a huge point both for uh, lenovo and for schools and universities who tend to use um, lenovo technologies exactly so lenovo today is uh, bundling the headset with the solutions and provides also the services uh, behind that with the support from Lenovo. And uh, today we are offering uh, this solution for the teachers and the students to collaborate together. And uh, we are uh, actually deploying it in a couple of schools already in EMEA. And uh, we are hoping to be able to reach out to other countries today. And uh, you can, of course, try the solutions today on our book. And we are also, yes. Uh, I think one, one, of the, one of the yeah. main attractions uh, that uh, in uh, in in the Lenovo booth in the VR stand where we are is the experience in class is the in class experiences. Uh, teachers want to want always to bring more uh, into their classrooms and to their students. Um, that they is why. Yeah, they just uh, our solution that, that is our experience more than solution that is sharing lab experience give the possibility to teacher to bring in class. Uh, contents and models, uh, objects that otherwise they cannot bring in class. Thanks to uh, the possibility of Lenovo WRX to change from VR to AR, the teacher can continue to see the students in class, but also they will see all the contents, all the objects that the teacher prepared. We gave a platform in which all the, the teacher can just upload all the contents that they want. They can just prepare their presentations uh, easily through a platform online that allow you to drag and drop the content in a blank space, blank virtual space, uh, and then you're able to see your presentation directly on the VRX that is a standalone device uh, connected via, via internet, and then you are able to show the contents in class. This is something that uh, teachers 
really love because especially in those sectors where you cannot always bring the best content to the students in a classroom, uh, especially if we are speaking about, I don't know, for technical schools, something such as uh, a physical engine or an or entire car or an entire production line, or even in art schools, if we want to just have a look at um, a real size sculpture, is something that cannot be done. And yeah, the, the, the huge thing is that the, um, the cameras uh, provided uh, onto the VRX allow teachers to see um, the, the, the reality around them uh, without any kind of latency or uh, blurriness that can tend to give motion sickness. And, and this helps the teacher also to keep the control of the class, not only by the digital side, but also from the physical side, continue to keep the control of the class. And the students can both follow it uh, either wearing other VRXs, and the solution is called Age Collaboration because it uh, allows people to collaborate, not only using uh, the VRX, not only using an headset, but uh, also we have a Lenovo tablet, tablet uh, right at the stand to allow from a third person point of view to share the experience and to um, participate and interact, with, interact with, uh, with the models into the experience. And this allows also those students or those teachers who maybe are not so keen on wearing headsets or devices because they want to, um, maybe they, they are not ready yet or they don't feel like it and they can interact in any way via Devi mobile device such as a tablet or via a phone or directly onto web and allowing everybody to just join the experience and live it in the best way possible. I think that one of the most beautiful thing of this uh, kind of, uh, of solution of experience is that uh, you can transform your classroom in whatever you want. If you want to bring a museum in class, you can do it. If you want to transform your class in a laboratory, you can do it. You can create the experience that you want because we don't want to give the possibility to just choose in a group of experiences, but we want to give the possibility, we want to uh, make all the teachers able to create their own experience. And we, we, we tend to say to give them superpowers. <laughs> 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 and the other thing is that you don't need um, any kind of bulky uh, equipment to uh, turn your class into a uh, highest technology standard classroom. I mean, you, all you need is just a VRX and an internet connection and you're good to go. It's very easy to bring in uh, every class of the Institute or also outside. You can do also, you can use it also for events, presentations, uh, just to give, uh, uh, as Giorgio was saying before, to give a higher stand, technological standing during uh, all kinds of events in school, uh, in university, every type of the institute. Also something that has been done is uh, imagining if we want to uh, maybe host in our school uh, a professor from another university, perhaps from another country or uh, from the another side of the world and inviting him and all the expenses of the travel and hosting him are not always possible, not always sustainable for a school. And with this solution, we can really host anybody into our classroom and have a digital lesson with his avatar uh, right in our classroom, interacting with our objects. And so possibilities become really endless in terms of what uh, a school can do with this kind of technology. In fact, about this, we about sustainability, about the, uh, the CO2, we, we created an algorithm that allow you to exactly calculate what is the, the difference between the CO2 spent in this technological way uh, instead of uh, coming there by plane, uh, using a plane or car, every kind of uh, moving transport. So it's, uh, it's very useful also by the part of sustainability. Yeah, you save a lot of energy. So those devices are uh, based on Android, so they are standalone devices. They run on batteries in the back, and but you can also connect them to a computer to have a higher power and do things like simulation and design and engineering. But yes, mainly uh, you use those devices for training and collaboration, and you can train uh, uh, employees in companies, of course, but th here we are today uh, using it to uh, collaborate between teachers and students. And uh, this is a great way uh, to save on cost, of course, of classes. And we have off-the-shelf content, thanks to Hevelus, 
that the teachers and the universities can use today. And of course, you have the authoring platform and uh, people can also create their own content with that. So it's a great all-in-one solution for the teachers and uh, for the students as well, which can join by mobile phones or tablets and all kinds of other devices. And uh, so for today, uh, they are, for instance, visiting the campus or collaborating uh, uh, between them together. And uh, yeah, it's a great solution and uh, we are very happy to have Hevelus on board and uh, uh, we hope to be able to bring new uh, uh, functionalities with the, the upcoming uh, updates and uh, hopefully to be able to address uh, the whole education market together. Yes, we are very pleased of working with, with Lenovo and for the possibilities that, uh, that you gave us on building this uh, kind of environment together and building these solutions together. And also, we want to thank you, uh, to thank Lenovo to, for the possibility to expose here a bet and uh, try to show our solution, uh, our idea of changing education, changing the way teachers do lessons.